Hello guys and welcome to Freebird's Crew and in our last video I explained you about the logistic regression and how it works and we also did a good project on that on the titanic data set. So in this video let's go on a journey to learn about multi-class logistic regression. So multi-class logistic regression is the same as logistic regression but on steroids. It has the more functionality. So while you know that the Binary logistic regression can only predict the binary outcomes like yes and no, spam or not spam, 0 and 1. But the multi-class logistic regression can give you the k number of possible outcomes. Because if your target variable has k number of labels, it can predict or give you the probability of each label that you have in your target variable. Okay. So how does actually MLR work? It works as the same logistic regression works. So it you can like feed the input features to the model and then it will do some mathematical uh, calculations and uh, normalize the input and gives you the probability distribution of the each label in your target variable. And it has the same thing that you can uh, provide all the features and it will give you the multiple probabilities. But all the probabilities just sum up to one only. So now how exactly it gives you so many uh, probabilities for all the labels in my target variable okay what's the deep inside it's working our uh, logistic regression it takes the linear prediction function equation and apply the uh, soft uh, up and apply the sigma function on the top of that to gives us the binary outcome yes or no on a decision boundary and in this in this MLR it has the softmax layer okay so in the logistic regression it has the sigmoid layer but in the MLR it has the softmax layer because by applying our linear prediction function to the softmax layer it gives you the uh, k number of probabilities as many labels as you have in your target variable okay so as you guys know this is our uh, linear prediction function so the linear prediction function is the same as y is equal to mx plus b or uh, z is equal to wx plus b. You know that z is, is your uh, prediction, w is your weight, x is your input features and b is, uh, b is the bias. Okay, so you like uh, give this equation and apply the softmax function on this equation, you, you will get the multiple probabilities of all the labels in the target variable. Okay, so let me just give you an example here. So we have a data set of the alligator food choices and you want to predict the species of the alligator on the base of the food choices that they have. Okay, we just import all the libraries here and then we get the data set here and it has like so many uh, columns here. Okay, and you want to predict this species column. Okay, it has 99 unique species. So you, you will see here that it has 99 labels in your target variable and this model will work on every label that it has. It will not predict like only two species, it, it will predict for all the species here in the species column. Okay, and then you do some kind of uh, feature in engineering, do the label encoding, send it scalar and then build the uh, logistic regression multinomial model here with the multi-class attribute with the multinomial and then when you do the fit and kind of find the accuracy of this uh, model you will see that it will give you accuracy of 98% so it will show that it, it, it uh, this model will able to predict all the species correctly on the 98% times okay so okay so let me just give you one another example we want to predict the glass type okay we have like these kind of glass uh, types we have. This is our uh, data and these are the data headers as has have and you want to predict that what kind of class it is. Okay, so you will do the same steps as you do in the above project. Okay, and this is how you create the multinomial uh, situation models. You want to get the accuracy. You will see it, it gives us the 100% accuracy here. Okay, so this is how this is how the complete multi-class loss situation works it is nothing but a uh, softmax function applying on the linear prediction function and then it will gives you the multiple probabilities as compared to the labels in your target variable okay guys so if you guys have any kind of question related to 
plus regression you can ask in the comment section and in our next video we'll talk about the support vector machines and we'll do everything about support vector machines like its mathematical equations and along with the project as well. just be with it and please like subscribe and share this video and our youtube channel and we'll meet in our next video thank you guys thank you so much